warm welcome to all my students. Today, let us study about entrepreneurship. Seeing this picture, you could have understood that these are the top entrepreneurs of our country who helped in development of our country. So about entrepreneur, we will learn today. We will learn the following concept in this chapter. Meaning of entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. Role and importance of entrepreneurship. Self-employment opportunities. Self-employment schemes. Profile of a few successful entrepreneurs. So these are the topics we are going to learn in this lesson. Meaning of entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. Role and importance of entrepreneurship. These are the two topics we will discuss in this session. Entrepreneurship constitutes the, dri the driving force of today's market economy. It is one of the four main economic factors, namely land, labor, capital and organization. It is a very powerful factor in changing the business environment of a country and its entire industrial sector. Four factors of production which are important for production. Remember children, four factors of production are land, labor, capital and organization. Without these four, production cannot start. So remember, factor of production means land, labor, capital and organization. The word entrepreneur is derived from the French word entrepreneur, which means to undertake some activities. Entrepreneur is an innovator of new ideas and business process. He possesses management skill, a strong team building ability and essential leader leadership qualities to manage the business. He, she exercise initiated by organizing a venture to take the benefit of an opportunity. So, entrepreneur means an innovator, that is creator, who executes his own ideas. So, remember, Entrepreneur, to recognize an entrepreneur, the first one is the quality what entrepreneur is having is innovator of new ideas and business process. And next, the, the important skill in him he has developed is management skill. And he learns to team building ability that is unite everyone and the most important a quality which should be present in an entrepreneur is leadership quality. He or she exercise initiative by organizing a venture to take the benefit of an opportunity. He will establish his own business seeing an opportunity, utilizing the opportunity. So remember, entrepreneur is an innovator. The skill what he has developed in, his, in him is management skill, strong team building ability and the most important quality which has to be in an entrepreneur is leadership quality. And next one is organizing a venture and taking the benefit of the opportunity. Then you call him as an entrepreneur. In business, the entrepreneur decides, 
three things. What, how and how much of goods and service to be produced. He comes up with new ideas for the product, market or technique. To put it in a simple word, an entrepreneur is someone who precise opportunity, organize resources needed for exploiting the opportunity and exploits it. And the example of entrepreneur's ideas are computer, mobile phone, washing machine, ATMs, courier service, instant food. These are the example of entrepreneur's idea. Now we will learn about entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is a process of an action of an entrepreneur who undertakes to establish his enterprise. So who is an entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is a process of an action of an entrepreneur who undertakes to establish his enterprise. Entrepreneurship is a creative activity. It is the ability to create and build something. It is a knack of sensing the opportunity where others see chaos, contradiction, confusion. Entrepreneurship. It is a creative activity, that is innovative activity. They are utilizing their, their idea and trying to build up from it. And they will see the opportunity when they can explore their idea and establish their own business. So remember always entrepreneurship is a creative activity. They don't depend upon others. They try to be independent and establish their own business and they will sense the opportunity and they will try to explore. They will also be able to overcome the chaos, contradiction, confusion and they will try to establish their own business. Entrepreneurship is the attitude of mind to seek opportunity, take calculated risk and derive benefits by setting up a venture which comprises of a numerous activities involved in it. Entrepreneurship is a philosophy, knowledge. It is the way one thinks, one acts and therefore it can exist in many situations. Let it be a business or a government or in the field of education, science, technology or poverty, elevation or any others. Entrepreneurship is the attitude of mind to seek opportunity. Always seeking an opportunity. And they will calculate the risk. That is, they are able to overcome the risk. Derive the benefit and try to establish their business. Entrepreneurship is a philosophy. And therefore, it can exist in many situations, let it be business or government or in the field of education, science and technology or even elevating the problem of poverty or any others. Next we will learn about the characteristic of an entrepreneur. Characteristic of an entrepreneur. Creativity, dynamism, team building, problem solving risk taking, commitment, innovation, leadership, achievement, motivation, goal, orientation, decision making, self confident. These are the quality which are present in an entrepreneur. So we list it out as a characteristic of entrepreneur. 
The first character is creativity. Being innovative. Creativity and innovation is almost the same. Dynamic, dynamicism is where they are able to adopt the change. Team building, uniting everyone and working. Problem solving means they are able to overcome any problem. Risk taking, they are able to take the risk and complete their work. Commitment, assignment. Leadership quality, achievement, motivation. Goal orientation, where they are able to achieve their aim. Decision making. At the right time, they take the decision and finally implement in their business and achieve. Self-confident. So these are the qualities, are the characteristic of an entrepreneurs. Next, we will learn about the functions of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs has to precise opportunities plan, organize, resource and oversee production and marketing. They should be perfect in seeing the opportunity. They have to plan, they have to organize the resource. At the same time, they have to look into their production activity as well as marketing. He infused motivation among us assistant and the most important he has to innovate and bear risk. So let me learn the main function of entrepreneur. Entrepreneur starts business activity by preparing various plan relating to business. So first function of an entrepreneur is to Start before starting and business activity, he has to prepare the plan. So first one is he has to plan his activity. Second one, he organize the factor of production. In the beginning, in the second, third slide, I taught you about factor of production. There are four factor of production. Land, labor, capital and organization. So, he should learn to organize these factors of production. So, first we learn, he has to plan his business. Next, he has to organize the factor of production. After organizing, he takes a decision about product, technology, marketing, employment. So, third point is decision. Decision regarding what he has to take, regarding the product, regarding the technology, marketing and employment. These are the decisions he has to take. Fourth one is he coordinates things effectively. That is putting all this work together. Fifth one, he introduced new method into practice. I told you in the beginning itself, entrepreneur is an innovator. So he will try to introduce his new ideas, new methods into practice. He will handle, add his budget of his concern. He will see the budget, how much he has to spend, how much he will learn and how much he will try to save. And he will see the loss and profit in it. He bears the risk and uncertainty. So he has to be capable to overcome the problem of risk and uncertainty. And the last one, he gives a direction to the business firm and ensures its effectively operation. So remember, first function of an entrepreneur is to plan. After planning, he will organize. After organizing, he will take the decision. Re decision regarding production, technology, marketing, employment. And after decision, the fourth point 
subjects we will concentrate on coordinates then introduce a new method after introducing he will try to handle the budget and next he will bear all the risk and uncertainty and the last one he will direct his people to achieve his goal so these are the function of entrepreneurs so simple way you can remember is these words first plan organize decision coordination introduce handle the budget bear the risk and the uncertainty and the last one is directions so these are the functions of entrepreneurs the next we will learn about the role of an entrepreneur entrepreneurs are the business leaders entrepreneur are business leaders they aspire for ideas and put them into practice in nurturing economic growth and development they play the most important role in economic growth and development of a country's economy entrepreneurs play a vital role not only in the development of industrial sector of a country but also in the development of agriculture and service sector so entrepreneurs are the business leader who encourages economic growth and development in our country and they not only help in the development of industrial sector but also they have in development of agriculture and service sector they play a very important role in the development of economy of our country so remember these are the great leaders who help in development of our country and also development in all the field that is industrial sector agriculture sector and service sector the major role played by the entrepreneur in the economic development are as follows so we will learn point by point and i will explain to you detail each entrepreneur promotes capital formation by mobilizing idle saving of the citizens and they employ the resource for setting up their enterprise capital formation that is increasing the capital of our country which are kept as idle saving the saving what we do are are utilized for the development of enterprise so that leads to development of capital formation second point entrepreneurs provide a large scale employment to artisans technical qualified person and professionals entrepreneurs are innovators they will implement their new ideas when they implement their new ideas they require people to work for it so it leads to employment opportunities and employment opportunity to whom artisans are employed technical qualified persons are employed as well as the professionals so entrepreneurs provide large scale employment the next they also help the country to increase the gross domestic product and per capita income that is national income of a country and per capita income entrepreneur encourage effective mobilization of skill bringing new products service and development develop market for the growth of economy so first we learned capital formation entrepreneurs promote capital formation next provide large scale employment opportunity 
increase gross domestic product and per capita income last one mobilization of skill they will bring up new product service and develop the market and this will lead to the growth of our economy entrepreneurs enable the people to avail better quality of goods at a lower price which will result in the improvement of their standard living so as the entrepreneurs are innovative they will implement new ideas due to that more goods will be implemented in the market due to that we will have better quality of goods at a lower price and this will also help in improvement of standard of living sixth one promotes development of industries so next one is concentrating on the development of industries and they also help to remove regional disparities that is concentrating industries in only few areas so we can overcome regional disparities due to this we will be able to establish industries in rural area as well as in the backward areas where there was no industry in the rural and the backward area we will establish because of these entrepreneurs entrepreneurs contribute towards the development of the society reducing concentration of income and wealth that is we are trying to reduce the disparity between rich and the poor is that clear sir where we are trying to distribute the income equally not have not letting the income to be under one person we are trying to overcome the problem of rich and poor entrepreneurs promote countries export trade that is exporting the goods to other country so next one the pro entrepreneurs promote the country's export trade that is exporting the goods to other country entrepreneurs work in an environment of changing technology and try to maximize profit by innovation that is try to implement latest technology at the same time try to increase the profit by their innovative ideas so these are the benefits from the entrepreneur the first what we learned about the entrepreneur was regarding capital formation after capital formation we learned about the a large scale employment opportunities and third one increasing the gross domestic product and per capita income and fourth point we learned about mobilizing the skill fifth one better quality goods at a lower price due to that standard of living of the people will double increase there will be improvement what you call it then development in industry development in societies by in, by reducing concentration of income and wealth next one export trade last one is changing technology trying to maximize profit by innovation so now we have learned about the role of entrepreneur in economic development of a country so remember you will remember these word which will help you to explain about the points first one capital formation second one large scale employment opportunity third one increasing gross domestic and per capita income fourth one mobilizing skill next you will explain about better quality of goods in that you have to explain the lower price and standard of living
after that development of industries that is you have to explain the industries are concentrated in the rural area as well as in the backward areas after industry development development of a society we develop a society in such a way that income and wealth is equally divided among the people export trade changing technology and trying to increase the profit by innovation so these are the words you have to remember capital formation first one second you will remember large scale employment opportunity increase in gross domestic and per capita income fourth one you will remember mobilizing skill better quality goods is the fifth point sixth one development of industry seventh one development of society eighth one export trade and last one is change in technology and profit by innovation so these are the words you remember it will be very easy for you to explain about role of entrepreneurs next we will learn importance of entrepreneurs already from the previous topic we learned that that entrepreneur are helping our country for economic development and they also help in development in all the three sectors that is industrial sector agriculture sector and service sectors now we will learn the regarding the importance of entrepreneurs entrepreneurs occupy a central position in the market economy they are the most important person in the mark in the market economy they serve as a spark plug remember this word children spark plug in the economy engine activating and stimulating all the dynamic activity for the economic progress of a nation to spread its activity worldwide so they must be encouraged and rewarded you know previously we learned about the role of entrepreneur how they are playing an important role in the development of our country so we have to see that more and more people are involved in this activity that is more and more people try to become entrepreneurs we are trying to involve more people under this entrepreneur so for this we have to increase them and reward them a society becomes prosperous only when it rewards and encourages the entrepreneurial activity because they are the critical determines for success prosperity growth and opportunity in the economy the most dynamic society in the world are those that have more entrepreneurs that means a country which has more entrepreneur that means their country are economically developed entrepreneur promotes capital formation mobilizing idle saving of the public and employ their own as well as borrowed resource for setting up their enterprise such type of entrepreneurial activities tends to value addition and creation of wealth which is very essential for industrial and economic development of a country it is entrepreneurial energy creativity and innovation triggers production and sales of new product and service these entrepreneurs undertake risk in search of profit seeks an opportunity to earn profit and strive hard to satisfy their needs children today we learned about who is an entrepreneur what is an enterprise and we learned about the characteristic of entrepreneurs 
the role of entrepreneurs and importance of entrepreneur these are the topic we have learned in this class so first question was regarding who is an entrepreneur i think if you have understood the session it will be very easy for you to regarding the entrepreneurs who is an entrepreneurs who is an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is an innovator of new idea and business process he possesses management skill and a strong team building skill and ability and essential leadership quality to manage the business this is the definition for entrepreneur the next question what are the characteristic of an entrepreneur so you have to remember those words which i taught you regarding the characteristic of the entrepreneur first one creativity next one innovator goal orientation achievements so these are the words what you have to remember in the characteristic of an entrepreneur's children so write down all those words in the in the in this questions once again i will repeat the words are the characteristic of an entrepreneurs so first remember it is creativity after creativity you will write innovation leadership team building achievement motivation problem solving goal orientation risk taking decision making commitment self confident so these are the words what you have to write regarding the characteristic of an entrepreneur what is the role of entrepreneurs in economic development of a country remember those nine points you have to write it i'll just list out those words and you write the point detail first one capital formation second one large scale employment opportunity increase in gross and per capita income third point fourth one mobilizing skill fifth one remember export trades development of industry development of society you have to remember changing technology and maximize profit by innovation and you have to remember last point regarding better quality goods at lower price so these are the points what you have to write in the role of entrepreneurs in economic development so today have completed two topics children the remaining topic will be explained in the next session thank you children